cheap versus expensive router bits. Does it really matter? Let's have a look, shall we? Right, let's get straight into it. Cheap bits versus expensive bits. What am I saying when I'm saying cheap bits? I am usually referring to super cheap bits. So the, the yellows, the reds, and uh, the weird teal color that you quite often find on Amazon or AliExpress. When I'm talking about expensive bits, what I'm really talking about is branded bits. So uh, over here in the UK, I've got a bunch of trend bits. I've got some white side bits, Axcalibur from Axminster. Yeah, you get the picture. Really what I'm saying is, do you want branded bits or do you want cheap bits? From my point of view, I'm gonna be talking from a production environment, so the way I would word this is that if you're a hobbyist or you're working out of your shed, you're working out of a small workshop, and you're only using them every now and again, I would say I've probably absolutely hammered it compared to how you would. So if they work for me, they should work for you. That being said, your experience may vary. You know, that's a, well, that just is the way of the world, isn't it, right? Not everything's built the same, so I can only go on the experiences that I've had in the past. For me, personally, I really quite like the cheap bits. I think, they're, I think they work, I think they're great, I think they do what they need to do. Um, as you can see, I've got a few V-carving bits here, and they're perfect. Keyhole bit, hardly ever use it, so why am I gonna go spend 40 quid on a keyhole bit when I can get one for like three quid off of eBay? Uh, surfacing bit, man, a surfacing bit for my CNC. This is a two inch bit, and I think this cost me like 16 pounds as opposed to a white side one, which was like 350 quid when I was looking. So huge difference, like 350 pounds, 16 pounds. You know, so I kind of figured, well, I could probably hammer these and like go through a whole stack of them before I even got to the cost of the white side bit. This little bit over here, like this little piggy. This little bit over here is a silver line bit, so that is a branded bit, but it's a very cheap bit. I think they're two pound each from Tool Station. That one there in particular got changed out today. It has probably done getting on for 750 meters worth. So when you're sitting there and you're like, well, oh, it's two pound, it's rubbish. Oh, it's last me 750 meters worth. I've taken it out because we're in the middle of a job. I'm gonna sharpen it and then it will go back into the rotation like all the other bits. I can probably hear you sitting there going, Josh, you're telling me these are okay and yet you have all of these branded bits. Well, the simple fact of the matter is, um, I started out not realizing, uh, like just like many people and thought that I had to pay extra. The trend bits, I'll be honest, my local tool guy, always support your local independent tool guy. Thank you very much, Righty. He stocks trend bits and quite often I'll be in the situation where I'll be like, ah, I need this. And I can go over to him and he'll have it. If he doesn't have it, if I call him up before three o'clock that day, it's normally there before 10 o'clock the next morning. So, and I can't guarantee that with Amazon. Very often, Amazon will say, yeah, it's gonna get delivered in the morning, it turns up at like 10 o'clock at night, so which is not helpful when I need it. So, always support your local tool independent trader, your independent tool trader, and uh, quite often, he gets better prices. So, always go and check with them. So, I do have a bunch of trend bits, but I don't know, man. Quite often people sit there and they say they're rubbish, they hammer them, and like I said, that is operator error. Okay, either they've not got it seated correctly in the collet, or they're trying to hog too much out in one go. I've used these for a quite a substantial amount of time and none of them broken. <laughs> these, again, I think they're great. I think the white side makes some really nice bits. Uh, there's another company from the States that makes really good bits. But in reality, right, in reality, if you're just doing a bit of work here and there, or you want something to make some panels up, right? So you're gonna uh, cut some shiplap on, or you wanna cut um, like a nice rebate in there to put a spline in there, or like a big loose tenon type thing. You, these are gonna be fine, right? As are these, okay? I don't think that you really need to go spend big money. It's like the table saw blades. I spend 120 pound on a blade because it gets used all day long. You don't necessarily need to do that. If you want to, by all means go do it, right? I recently, I feel a little bit dirty saying this, but I recently picked up a Festool track saw. Now I did go second hand, right? I did go second hand. And it was an extremely good price on Facebook, but I wasn't gonna go new because I don't use a huge amount. I have all the other tools in the workshop. I personally tend to spend my money on the things that I need to work and work first time, like all my sanding gear and all that sort of stuff, because then like spraying and, because that's the finished work. A lot of this stuff, you know, you can just sort of get by. When I'm using one of these for V-carving, it doesn't matter if I've got a 40 pound bit or a two pound bit. This one works exactly the same. I do have a, a, a trend uh, v car bit kicking around does exactly the same job, right? Exactly the same job, exactly the same finish. Now, one thing I have learned 
is you do tend to have to sharpen these a little bit more than I would sharpen these. I don't know why, I would imagine it's the same type of carbide, but who knows. Again, that's not really a difficult thing to do. You just have a card. I just have one of these, I think this is a trend one, and you just go like this equal amounts of times on the back. So if we're gonna sharpen this edge, you do equal amount of times on that side, equal amount of times on that side, and it's fine. Obviously equal amount of times, because it's a rat bit and you don't want to unbalance it. I don't really think that there's any problem at all with saving your money and getting these if it's just something that's gonna be used occasionally, like my surfacing bit. Although, ah, that is a beast. I think what you should really do, if you're asking, so I'm gonna tell you, you might not be asking, but I'll say anyway, what I, what I personally think you should really do is you should have a good quality quarter inch router and a good quality half inch router. And then when you're gonna do pattern work or you're gonna be hogging out loads of material, I think you should get yourself a half inch bit, right? It can be one of these, it can be a Trend 1 Excalibur, it could be a white side, whatever you wanna go spend your money on, but go half inch if there's gonna be a lot of force on it. Because ultimately, it is probably gonna be the steel that fails. And if you're hammering it, like I tend to do, I prefer a half inch bit because I just think that's safer. You know, especially, especially if it's one of the router table and it's around about this sort of level. They don't want anything snapping and flying off, do we? That's my take on it. Do you need to spend good money on router bits? I don't think so. I think you'd be better off putting that money by, getting yourself a good quality half inch router, a good quality quarter inch router, and then getting some half inch and quarter inch bits to go along with the work that you're doing. So that's my point of view. You let me know what you think below. If you think I'm completely and utterly wrong, by all means tell me. If you think I'm right, let me know. That would be great. If you like the if you like the content, please subscribe. If you don't like the content, I'm sorry. I like I do my best. I try and fit it in and around work, don't I? I hope you've enjoyed it. You have a great day. I'll catch you on the next video. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd like me to do, like a little five minute review on, you let me know. Because, uh, well, yeah, I'll do it. All right, you take it easy.